This is Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University, uh, lecture number two. We're now going to talk about the problems with the kind of diet that is currently being recommended in the USA for diabetic patients. Uh, the American Diabetes Association has for years advocated very high carbohydrate diets for everybody, but especially for diabetics. This is born of a myth that existed 40 years ago. Uh, I have one of the original articles from 1950, uh, I think it was maybe 58, where uh, a group of cardiologists got together gave their opinions and said everyone should be on low fat high carbohydrate diets but we realize we have no evidence for this and subsequently uh, the whole but world eventually jumped aboard people got fatter the incidence of type 2 diabetes increased the frequency of heart disease and heart attacks increased uh, and so on um, there's now enough in the scientific literature, I should say, maybe hundreds of studies disproving the fat hypothesis that dietary fat is the cause of heart disease and demonstrating that it's dietary carbohydrate. Now, eating a lot of carbohydrate for non-diabetics can throw them over the hill where they were almost diabetic and now become diabetic. That's with type 2 diabetes mostly. Uh, but it can also cause many problems, obesity, heart disease, uh, etc. Uh, even Alzheimer's disease is now believed uh, to be much lower in people who eat low carbohydrate diets. If, you're di if you have diabetes, whether it's type 1 or type 2, carbohydrate is your enemy. Carbohydrate uh, is the stuff that you find in grains especially, so bread and cake and crackers and things like that, uh, also in sugars, and uh, to a much lesser degree in certain vegetables, but there are other vegetables that are high in carbohydrate. For example, corn and beets and potatoes are very high in carbohydrate. Uh, string beans, broccoli, Brussels sprouts uh, are low in carbohydrate. Most salad vegetables are low in carbohydrate. Now, if you have diabetes, uh, type 1 diabetes, for example, you think that you can take insulin to offset the carbohydrate. And millions of type 1 diabetics are doing just that and realizing that it doesn't work. If they measure their blood sugars, they see that they go sky high. They may come down later. They may come down too far later and get hypoglycemic. <clears throat> but they're not walking around with normal blood sugars, nor are they walking around with level blood sugars. And if you have diabetes and are watching this, the odds are over, and if you haven't read my book, Diabetes Solution by Bernstein, you uh, are probably walking around with roller coaster blood sugars. And I might add that the day that the hazards to the body of roller coaster blood sugars have been shown to be worse than those of just level high blood sugars. So the first part of the ball game is to get rid of the excess carbohydrate. And for type 1 diabetics, you have to learn how to use insulin in small amounts to cover the small amounts of carbohydrate that you may be eating. The fastest acting insulin we have, which is Umalog, 
still works slower than the bulk of the carbohydrate foods that you can eat. So trying to guess at an injection of fast-acting insulin to cover a slice of bread or a sandwich is purely a guess and the timing is going to be way off. So your blood sugar will go, if you, if you guess right, which is rare, your blood sugar will first go sky high and then eventually it'll come down to your target. And that high blood sugar is going to hurt you as is the varying blood sugar. Now what happens over the long pull? There are probably hundreds of different long-term complications of diabetes, which I'll go over in a separate session, but every cell of the human body is affected by high blood sugars. So it can affect your nails. Uh, you could get fungal infection of the nails. It can affect your skin where you can get sores, uh, boils, uh, and so on, uh, infections, staph infections. Uh, you can, uh, it can affect your eyes, where it can affect the lens of the eye. You can get cataracts, you can get glaucoma, you can get macular edema, you can get retinal hemorrhages, uh, the list with just the eyes is a lengthy one. Uh, there are musculoskeletal complications, all caused by high blood sugars, where the collagen, which is a protein in muscle and connective tissue, uh, gets glycosylated, glucose sticks to it, and it no longer stretches, but becomes stiff. Uh, there's what's called diabetic frozen shoulder caused by this. There's what's called Dupuytren's contracture, where the people develop claw hands. Um, there uh, is what's called iliotibial band tensor fascia lata syndrome, where you get terrible pain in your upper legs, and uh, some people can't walk. They, they have to use crutches. So we've had people come into the office on crutches because of this condition. And it's very painful. They may be in constant pain or unable to sleep from this iliotibial band tensor fascia lata syndrome. Uh, there's, of course, heart disease. Uh, diabetes and high blood sugars are a major cause of congestive heart failure and uh, myocardial ischemia and heart attacks. And, not, of course, there is the kidney disease that I had. I mentioned it in uh, our last video, and I forgot to mention that today my kidney function is equal to that of a young person, somewhere, somewhere around 20 years old. I've totally reversed my kidney disease just by having normal blood sugars for uh, the past uh, uh, 35 or 40 years. Uh, I guess since some 1973, so that would be uh, 40, 42, 41, 42 years, I've had essentially normal blood sugars, and that reversed my kidney disease just like it does in mice. And, of course, the American Diabetes Association is still insisting that you don't need normal blood sugars and that there's no way to reverse these complications. And uh, I guess the main reason for this is that they haven't read my book, so they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to give people normal blood sugars. That's it for this session. We'll, ha we'll try to keep these sessions short, maybe 20 minutes each and we'll give you as many as we can. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, stay tuned down the road for uh, lecture number three. Please get my book, Dr. B Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution. It's available at virtually every internet bookstore and many local bookstores. 
It contains much more information than these lectures that I'm giving you and really is essential if you want to keep your blood sugars normal as I do.